a library in every village. Think about that. It is a powerful idea and it is already possible. Today, anyone can build a homemade receiver, point it at the sky, and receive free information from space. But we want to go even bigger. Well, actually smaller. A library in every pocket. Introducing Lantern. We don't just want to help the 4.3 billion people who lack internet access. We want to make something every person on Earth can use. Lantern is one device that receives free data forever. Lantern continuously receives radio waves broadcast by Outernet from space and turns them into digital files. When you want to view the content stored on Lantern, just turn it on and connect your Wi-Fi enabled device to Lantern's hotspot. All you need is a web browser. It's like an offline version of the internet that updates constantly. You can also charge your phone with Lantern and, when power isn't available, Lantern can charge itself with its built-in solar panels. Lantern is like a Swiss army knife for offline communication. How much better will we respond to the next Hurricane Katrina, Indian Ocean tsunami, or Syrian refugee crisis when everyone has the right information? Lantern is also a critical addition to your disaster kit. When cell towers go down and terrestrial networks are compromised, you and your family won't be. Get your news anywhere in the world. Whether you are abroad, on a mountain, or in the middle of the ocean, Lantern receives news from major news outlets in several languages. And don't worry about what your kids might find online. You control what your lantern keeps from Outernet's broadcasts, so you can create the perfect digital library. And in many parts of the world, lantern means things that have previously been impossible. Outernet broadcasts educational material, from videos teaching literacy to courses on computer programming, making learning possible everywhere on Earth. Imagine when education becomes truly universal. It is already happening. We are working with the World Bank in Sudan and IREX in Namibia to turn on lanterns all over those countries. And that's just the beginning. Lantern is not just a library, it can be a school. Because we're broadcasting from space, if you have a government that says, you can't read this or you can't watch this, Outernet's there. Everything that a user consumes is completely anonymous. It goes beyond income, it goes beyond access, location, geography, the random lottery of where we're born, Outernet cancels all of that out, which is such a powerful idea. The doors are already open. We've already started putting books on the shelves and we just want to make the library bigger and more accessible. And we want you to be a part of it. For decades, I've been working to bring the world great literature, free literature. What Outernet does is it gives us one more way, a great way, of getting content to people. The Project Gutenberg content, and we're in favor of that. We support it. There are many people all over the world who can't afford what it costs to download that kind of data. Outernet can change all of that. It's going to be able to broadcast data to every corner of the world for free. Being part of this project is really great for this reason, the opportunity to make technology work for people. Outernet bro broadcasts knowledge. Everybody on, on this planet deserves the same opportunity. OSC's goal is to create the open source economy based on such open access to knowledge. We design and build open source industrial machines and publish the plans on the internet for free. Personally, I'm excited by somebody downloading our plans in a remote corner of the world maybe far, far away from the internet backbone and creating a better life for themselves. There's nothing more heartbreaking than seeing a problem, whether it's in a third world community or an urban area or a place of dire poverty, where their solution already exists, but people in experiencing the problem don't have access to that solution or access to the information to help them solve that problem. Imagine if we found a cure for cancer and many of the world's cancer patients didn't know about it because they simply didn't have access to that information. That's the problem that Outernet is seeking to solve. This isn't hypothetical, it's not theoretical. Uh, just recently we uh, announced our broadcasts on two satellites. We're on Galaxy 19 and Hotbird. That covers North America, Europe, Middle East, and North Africa. With the addition of about five other satellites, uh, we'll be able to cover the entire world. What happens in terms of the ideas that get generated from consuming, you know, the entire corpus of Wikipedia? What happens when, you know, young and old alike are, are you know, self-educating and thinking of new ideas? There really is no end, and we don't even know the full range of things that are out there that we can put into the archive. So we're asking for you to know and for you to tell us what we put on our shelves 
for everyone to consume. This is a matter of something for humanity. It's all of us that we can see unfold in real time. It's incredibly possible for us to be on our way almost next week. We can completely change the world as we know it now and forever with your help supporting Outernet.